This is Nick with Build Brothers Roofing at 8360 Dallas Street, starting my digital inspection. Uh, whenever we start our inspections, we always like to start underneath the eave of the house. Your eaves are gonna consist of your fascia board, you have your, uh, your starter board, and then you have your rafter tails. And the reason why we like to start underneath the eave is that it'll give us a good idea about what kind of wood damage we can expect on this property. Um, and it'll just get, kind of give us a better clue of what the condition of the roof is in, right? So. We can see we got a lot of water damage over here in this section. We can also see how when installers install satellite dishes, they just go right through the roof and right through the eave of the home. Um, those are always leaks waiting to happen. Um, so obviously we have had water come through this section in the past. There will be some wood repair on some of these eaves. Uh, you can see how water's been making its way. And you can also see just how stained a lot of these eaves are showing how water's been getting underneath the property or into the property itself. So there will be some wood repair on this home. Um, we have a flat section on the roof that will have some wood repair also. There's already a leak and obviously the homeowner wants to address that because they have some nice exposed ceilings uh, that they don't want to damage. Now, work my way up to the top of the roof. We have some old school drip edge. You can see how small this drip edge is, um, but this drip edge does still help. So it allows the water to run off this metal as opposed to just running directly off the wood. So it helps, it does help preserve the wood. When we redo this roof, we're gonna add more to this drip edge. Uh, let's put some new inch drip edge on there um, just to get it two inch drip edge on there just to make sure that it, um, that it works a lot better than the you know the older product that's on right now but we have an architectural shingle that's on this roof i want to point out a few things that i noticed right off the bat obviously we have these repairs that have been done over the past on these valleys uh, so these valleys have been leaking for quite some time we've got some major leaks coming from down in that section um, but as these you know as these valleys leak if they aren't repaired properly they're going to continue to leak so when the homeowner or the, the previous homeowner came and just smeared a bunch of mastic over this section you can see how all that mastic has really started to wear through the oils have evaporated on it and it's starting to crack so water gets into these valleys every single time it rains you can also see how shiny this material is right um so essentially what's happening is all of the oils on this shingle product have started to evaporate they've, they've already evaporated allowing all the granules to deplete every time it rains and as that continues to happen all the fiberglass begins to be exposed, okay? Um, once that fiberglass is exposed, the waterproofing is greatly affected. You can also see just how loose this product is. Um, if my fingers are getting underneath it, then water will be getting underneath it as well. Again, more evidence of all the granule loss that started to occur. We can see that each and every one of these ridge caps has exposed nail heads on it. All these exposed nail heads, these are all leaks waiting to happen. And then we can see that they did not do a proper job of covering the uh, the staples that were installed on this roof with the ridge cap itself. So all of these exposed staples are leaks, every single one of them. Uh, working over this section, we got some whirly birds on this roof. We're gonna swap out those whirly birds with some O'Hagan exhaust vents. Um, but we can see that all of the sealant around the penetrations has completely started to wear through. Water's gonna be getting down each and every one of these pipes. Um, you can see over here in this section, water is just gonna sit right around this whole section every time it rains. And then again, more repairs that have been done. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the workmanship. You can see just how crooked all these lines are. And then we'll also notice again, just how loose this whole roof is. All these shingles are literally just starting to come apart right now. Um, okay, so working over to the flat section, we've got some leaks coming from this area right here. You can see how water just sits and ponds in this portion of the roof. These are all granules from this torch down modified bitumen material. Um, as that water sits, it ends up finding its way into the home. Um, we've got a leak coming from this area. Looks like there was a repair that was done. Uh, looks like not too long ago. But obviously it's not doing the job because it started rain, or it started leaking when it started raining last year. But you can see all the granules on this torch down material have begun to deplete as well. So just like the shingle product, once those granules deplete, um, that fiberglass becomes exposed. You can see how the seams are nice and shiny. The waterproofing is greatly affected. We've got some major leaks coming on this section, the intersection of, the, of this portion of the eave. 
um, has a lot of wood rot as well. So it's been going on for quite some time. So in my professional opinion, um, just based off the age of this roof, the condition of the, uh, of the shingle itself, I mean, I'd say this roof is at least 30, 35 years old. Roofs like this are gonna last about 25 years. Um, based off the amount of granule loss that we have and the repairs along with actual leaks, I am gonna recommend replacing this roof. So we're gonna tear this thing down to the wood decking. Uh, we will then add a layer of synthetic underlayment or an Owens Corning preferred contractor, which means that this roof will come with a 50 year warranty from Owens Corning to go along with a 10 year workmanship from us. The flat section, we will tear it off as well. I am gonna recommend using a TPO product over this section um, because this is a living area underneath it. It gets probably, it's probably the hottest area of the house. That TPO is gonna cool that area of the home down immensely. Um, this is a fantastic candidate for a ridge vent too. So we're gonna add exhaust ventilation to this roof, but what we can also do is turn these ridge lines into full um, ventilation systems. So we tear this thing down, we cut a trough in the center of it, we add the ridge caps on top to allow hot air to rise and escape. I'll go over that with the homeowner, but I am going to recommend a full tear off on both the slope sections of the roof and the flat section of the roof. That's it for my inspection.